Hey, Chris here with Simply Nuck, and I'm here today to talk about the big, or should we say mini, elephant in the Nuck room. And it's that Intel is leaving the Nuck business. Oh no, the world is crashing down on our heads. What's happening here? Oh my God. All right, that was a bit of an exaggeration because the world's not gonna end, you know, because Intel, while they're leaving the Nuck manufacturing business behind, is leaving room for a lot of new players to come in and start supplying the world with these lovely things, these wonderful little mini PCs we call NUX. And here to talk to me today about this very topic is Simply NUX's own CEO, Aaron Rossell. And I'm gonna bring him in right now. Welcome, Aaron. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my little table here where we can talk about stuff. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we were talking a little bit before we were recording, but this is it's kind of a big deal, Intel just, exiting the NUC business, considering they're the ones that kind of started it all. Yeah, saw this day coming, but it came a little faster than we were expecting, but fortunately we were uh, preparing for it for some time. So. And, and so with them kind of seeing their way out, it's not gonna be immediate, right? They're gonna... Right, fortunately they've kind of mentioned how they've got a, a succession plan in place where you know the NUCs that, that Intel's been providing will be around for the immediate you know, a near-term future, and that they've got, you know, a way for them to continue to be purchased to fulfill all the commitments that they have kind of made. So then the world supplied NUX isn't just going to be cut off, like someone turning off a faucet. No, fortunately, it's it's not going to go down like that. So Intel, Intel is going to live up to their, their commitments on the current and existing NUX product lines. All right, that's good to hear, because I, like I was saying, I think there was a bit of a, a bit of a panic uh, at least people that I heard from or people that our company talked to, it just seemed like this caught people off guard. Yeah, it did. And, and causing some nervousness, you yeah. know, in the industry. And we're, we're here to kind of say, hey, everything's okay. You know, we got your back. We got you covered. We're, we're in regular communication with Intel. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll make sure that, that there's nooks for everyone. I think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but do you think like some of that fear is because many PCs have become so ingrained in so many businesses at this point. That yeah, I mean, a lot of people have built, you know, their, their businesses around them. They run their businesses with them. They build products around them. You know, nooks uh, are kind of everywhere. You may not see them, but, you know, they're behind the digital displays at the restaurants you go to. They're in the kiosks that you're using at the airport or the screens up on the, on the walls. They're almost kind of a secret agent. Like they're everywhere, but you just don't see them. With them leaving the NUX space, I feel like that, and I said this a little bit in my intro, this gives other people a chance to kind of fill that gap. There's other NUX manufacturers, other mini PC manufacturers. For instance, us, Right. we, we make a lot of different uh, NUX that mirror or I think kind of can exceed the Intel NUX capabilities. But who is going to be filling their shoes kind of in the immediate future. So Intel has announced that ASUS will be kind of taking over going forward on the on the initial, or not the initial, but the existing um, Nook product lines. Um, they've announced a non-exclusive license, so that does leave the door open for other manufacturers to, to participate. But in the, in the immediate future, um, ASUS has agreed to kind of continue the existing lines forward in, in a manner that's as seamless as possible. Do you see it being seamless, like absolutely no interruption, just? It's hard to say, um, especially in this industry. People can panic buy, and that's that's one of the things we don't think needs to happen, um, is, is, you know, trying to panic buy. The production lines are running um, on, on the, you know, current production units, and they'll continue to run. It's just at a certain point they'll, they'll change names, the, but, but it'll look and feel and be the exact same product coming from the same factory. Is this something new that Intel's doing or, or have they done this in the past where they've just stopped doing it before? Is that something they've done before? Yeah, so I mean, there's there's a couple examples in, in the past. Uh, the motherboard division at Intel, for example, that was kind of a different business for them to be in. Once they kind of felt like the ecosystem was ready um, to, to kind of take over, they got out of the business. And actually that was some of the people from that group that ended up starting the, the Nook division uh, at Intel, John Dethridge, our, our CMO. With this kind of coming to pass, what do you see as the most exciting part about this opportunity? Um, I, I see it um, 
as an opportunity to, to really go out and, and innovate and um, develop our own stuff. Uh, we have been doing that, but you know, I think it, it, like we mentioned, we plan on doubling down on our investments in this space. You talked about innovation. Do you think it's the innovation is going to go in the way of kind of, I, it's not technically a NUC because it's got AMD, but Moonstone for us, it's increasing the power in the small form factor. Is that where you see the innovation going? It gives uh, way for a little bit more diversity in the space. Yeah, that the, you know, Intel kind of took the lead in that um, form factor, but um, we've seen some amazing performance out of the, the more recent AMD offerings. So yeah, like Moonstone um, currently is the, the highest performing Nook device that we carry. So yeah, um, yeah, we think we'll see continued um, interest in that space. So is there anything else you want to want to add before we sign off here? No, I'd just say that, you know, with with all of this uh, news and um, how strong the ecosystem has become, I would say it's you know, really just an opportunity to uh, uh, open a new chapter in the history of the, the Nook line of products. Um, and just for you know everyone to know that going forward, you're gonna have more options than ever. So you see, even though Intel's moving out of here, you see more, not less. Uh, absolutely, yeah. And as us, being kind of a key player in all this, um, and you said we have lots of options to for any type of application that someone wants. So, um, I mean, it seems like we have people covered no matter what their needs are, and that that's just going to continue on, even though it yeah, tells. we we're really trying to drive home that message that we have you covered because we really do. We see ourselves as a leader in the in the Nook space, and you know we're continuing to develop and have been developing our own Nook-like products and um, we'll continue to do that going forward, including you know a brand new one coming out here uh, very shortly that uh, will actually surpass any of the existing Nooks in performance and, and functionality. So we're pretty excited about that one. So then the big takeaway is don't panic. <laughs> right. Like we, we have you covered, don't panic. There's still gonna be Nooks. And I personally think this is a very exciting opportunity. I think whenever a big player like this moves out of a space, it does create that opportunity for smaller people to come in and to innovate and like who knows what we'll see in five years, you know? Yeah, no, we're excited. We're, we're really excited to see where it goes, so. All right, well, thank you very much for coming by and talking about it and uh, we'll see you on the next one.